Hi guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. This is the Cologne city in Germany. We are slowly walking towards the Cologne Cathedral. Cologne is the largest city of the German western state of North Rhine Westphalia. It is the fourth most populated city in Germany. Prior to World War II, the city had undergone occupations by the French and the British and was part of Prussia. Cologne is a major cultural center for the Rhineland. It hosts more than 30 museums and hundreds of galleries. It has Europe's oldest and largest universities, the Technical University of Cologne, Germany's largest university of applied sciences. Going to the Cologne Cathedral in Germany. That is the first glimpse of the Cologne Cathedral, which is a high Gothic five-aisled basilica, 144 meters long, with a projecting transept and a tower facade, 157.22 meters high. The immense twin towers stand 515 feet or 157 meters tall. The cathedral was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1996. That is my friend Sanjay from SOTC and these are the members of our group from SOTC Kolkata. He is giving us a briefing about Cologne Cathedral. There is a lot of open space outside the cathedral and here is an artist busy doing street art, painting the flags of different countries. You must be wondering why Cologne Cathedral is black. Well, the outside of the cathedral is not made of black material, nor is it dirty. Instead, the sandstone which most of the building is made from reacts with the sulfuric acid in the rain and turns dark grey, giving the cathedral its distinctive dark color over time. The construction of Cologne Cathedral began in 1248. But it was halted in the years around 1560. Attempts to complete the construction began around 1814, but the project was not properly funded until the 1840s. The edifice was completed to its original medieval plan in 1880. I came here on 4th October 2022. The morning was bright and sunny, the sky was a clear blue and the view of the cathedral from every possible angle was spectacular.
Hi, I'm in front of the Cologne Cathedral right now with the towering spires right above me. Yeah, right up there. Magnificent monument. This is a fountain. The water was not flowing continuously. It would start and stop on its own. While I was shooting the video of the fountain, this little kid came very close to the fountain. Wait till you see the inside of the cathedral, which is equally beautiful, if not more. There is as such no strict dress code for entering the church but it is advisable to dress modestly and you should not be wearing a cap or a hat when you go inside. Shorts, mini skirts are not to be worn. It takes about one to two hours to properly see the Cologne Cathedral. Today, the cathedral welcomes more than 20,000 people daily who come to see the shrine of the three kings. There is no entry fee to get inside the cathedral. There is beautiful artwork inside which people come to admire. Others come following the footsteps of the earlier pilgrims who worshipped here. It is the seat of the Archbishop of Cologne and it has been the most popular tourist attraction in Germany. The church is famously known as the testament of German Catholicism and Gothic architecture. The construction of the cathedral began in the 13th century and was finished in the 19th century. One of the most cherished treasures of the Cologne Cathedral is the relics of the three wise men. The shrine holds the bones of the three wise men from the Bible. They were brought by pilgrims to Cologne in the Middle Ages.
The cathedral is massive and occupies about 8,000 square meters of floor space and can hold more than 20,000 people. The interiors were magnificent. The choir of the cathedral is the largest in Germany. Its most special features are the two seats reserved for the Pope and the King. Cologne Cathedral's narrow central aisle leads to the choir. At 144 meters, it is the longest aisle in Germany and flanked by two aisles along each side. The cathedral's colorful glass windows are especially impressive. They sparkle like precious stones and bring a vibrant intensity of color into the church. Soft organ music was playing and it created an ethereal feeling.
that's all for today. Hope you have liked this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel and do give a thumbs up if you like this video and share it among your friends.